Do I need to do a drop test on these? Oh man, higher. Even the kitty cat is impressed with this one. He pops off like this. Oh no, he's staying on. Oh, good little cat, good little kitty. What's up, pussy cat? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I just, that's all I know of the song. Oh no, the kitty cat drop. Stand him up here. Oh, the kitty cat fell down again. Stop falling down, kitty cat. This. You freaking cat. Yes, one k you did something right. Ha, ha, ha. Man, my fingernails are long and nasty. Gotta cut them real quick. Ah, that's much better. So what's up, you guys? Welcome back. Pick me up, Scotty. I'm Scotty, and guess what? While you're watching this video, I'm not even here. I'm somewhere in the world. So this is my last day in the office, and I'm gonna power a couple of videos. So I hope this gets out to you guys. Thank you again for supporting the channel. Don't forget to comment so I can reply to you guys. And yeah, so anyway, check it out. Ooh, look at this lot. So these are from One Gay, and you know, some of you really like them and some of you really hate them. And I actually find them pretty okay. Half of their sets are pretty good. Golden Gate Bridge, Empire State Building, Notre Dame, one of my favorites, Lincoln Memorial. You have a couple others that are like in shambles, you know, you can watch them over here. But look, this is from them and it's back. The Hoy architecture, it has my name on every single one of these. How cool is that? Is it any good? So this is what the full set looks like. They are sold individually. We're gonna start on this side and work our way up to this one. We'll save the best for last. So here we go. Check it out, starting with this one. So this is Juan Gay's The Archway of Hoy Style Architecture. 3314, 381 pieces. Ooh, look, it comes with a box. Here's the box. And just to show you guys the front, can you see that? Yeah, kitty cat's blocking it a little bit. Show you there. Flip it to the back here. Yeah, that's what they look like all together, as you see here. All right, I'm gonna throw the box away. Let's look at the set. So this is the smallest out of all of them. If you wanna give one game a shot, it's worth to give this one a try, even though it's really small, it's minimal. You know, you gotta see if you like the way they do the manual. There are no numbered bags, but I feel it's okay. Like, once you get through it, it'll be fine. Check it out, look at this. Yeah, this is an archway. I gotta mention real fast that this is actually really nice and it's kind of to scale to minifigure, which is really cool. It's not like the Shouzu Garden. Is it Shouzu Garden? Remember I did a review for that one? One of the first Asian gardens I think was available. You can watch that here. But that wasn't quite the minifigure scale. And you know, we'll do a comparison later between those two gardens. But here, look at this archway. It is so lovely. It's so simple. I'll do a little rotation there for you guys. And we'll start in the front. Let's look at the front, yeah? It's not tiled on the sides, no. That's okay. We'll just pretend it's a rocky garden. But I do like the stone tiles that they put here in the front with a staircase. That's pretty nice. And I like these little gray balls. Yeah, those look pretty interesting. Good little decoration. So next to those shiny balls are some flowers and that's really up to you if you want to put flowers on them or leave them off or make them look barren or not. But it looks nice. I like the placement. And look on the archway on the side, you got two signs there and those are printed. So the sign here on the right translates as relaxing, peaceful springtime. And the sign over here says orchard, bamboo, they're all special. And we come here to the side, here we'll flip it there. You have a small little garden there that's actually tiled off on the side. I like the vine. And that is interesting, they use these little, I don't know what those are called, they're like tooth, tiled tooth. They use those as feet for creatures once in a while, but they're using them as flowers there, creative. I don't know, looks okay to me. Then we come to the side here, and this one kind of separates itself from the other set. It has a well. What a nice looking little well. That piece there with the chain does rotate a little bit, but you're not really supposed to move it. It's just a decoration piece. And I am missing one small, like a cone piece that sits on the side. It's supposed to act as a wheel to turn it. It did keep falling off. That was the only nitpick about this set was that that one single piece kind of came off. It's with my spare parts somewhere over there. I didn't bother to put it in because I know it's gonna fall off. Here's the backside. I know it's really small, that's it. It's really simple, but it's kind of nice. I like it. I like how they have this huge tree that just sits there. The color, it's interesting. I would have maybe had like to been more of a tree color, I guess more of a darker brown. It's just a color thing. You don't have to follow the manual for the branches and the flowers. You can kind of move and rotate pieces here and there. You can make the branches protrude longer, go around the side. 
And look, it's a small little pink parrot, and he's just kind of perched up there. And then we come to the rooftop, which, as you know, Juan Gay's rooftops are a little bit delicate. It's no exception here. You can kind of adjust it how you like. You can give this more of a tilt here, or you can, you know, you can raise these up if you wanted to. But you know, they're usually sitting on single studs, so they're kind of loose. You do have to be a little bit careful. Watch those pieces. You know, you can move this up and down here. And even these ones on the side, I think it's only like one stud holding this whole rooftop up. And leave it alone, man. It's your decoration. So there we go. That's the first one. Let's look at the next one. So this is one case, the courtyard of Hoi style architecture. Number 3313, 486 pieces. And here's the box for you so you guys can see it. Yeah, looks pretty. Ha ha. The same back as all the other ones, you know. One gate, your boxes suck, man. Especially if you're gonna buy it with box and try to tear it open. Man, just, you know, fix that. Fix it, make it easier. Anyway, that's the box for it. Very nice box. We shall throw this away too. This almost looks like a Ninja Dojo kind of thing. That's kind of cool. Maybe it fits with your Ninjago theme stuff. I'm not quite sure. I only have the crazy ones, the docks in the city, and I'm taking the dock apart to re-brick that into another mock, so I can't wait for that to come out. So on the front right there, you got way more decoration than the other one. A lot more little tiles scattered here. It's not fully tiled, but hey, they got a lot of nice little patterns there. I like the kind of random colored stone pieces they have here. Has a little pond right here. Actually, I kind of wish that was a little bit bigger. And these transparent tiles, that would look neat. They have some plants growing in the water. Now, what's really cool is, I think this is new from One Gay. You know, if you've bought this before, you know that these leaves can break really easy. But now, they're individual. So you can actually just take a single piece off like that and it won't break as easy. So thank you, One Gay, for doing that. Maybe that's new, I don't know, we'll find out. On the side, you got a different kind of plant here. Different, I'm not sure if that looks fitting to the set. But you do have this vine that is growing up this wall. I like that, it kind of separates itself from this very simple black and white look to it. So there's nothing much here on the side, it's just a wall and same for the other side. But you know, you can probably customize it yourself. Put more vines, put more trees, up to you, yeah. And we come to the back, yeah, there's nothing back here, man. It's just an empty courtyard. It'll be interesting to see if you can actually remodify it yourself, and make your own dojo, you know what I mean? But you do have a couple of little pebbles there. It's funny how they have a little bit of green kind of trickling in here, it's like moss. It's getting moldy on the set. That's it, plenty of studs to stand your minifigures in there, no tiles. This is kind of weird. I'm wondering if I'm missing a piece right here. I'm not quite sure. There are two red lanterns here. They look okay. It kind of is distracting from the color of the set, but you know, it's not as distracting as another sign that you're gonna see later on. Acceptable, passable. The sign here has no meaning, just the name of the garden, Yut Wo Yun. Same deal with the rooftop, but one thing I find is that as we get bigger, they get a little bit more fragile, especially this is just like balancing on barely anything. Hasn't fallen off on me. There will be some pieces of the rooftop that you have to build from bottom up again. I hate that because it can have a chance of dropping. And at least they have some sort of a design behind that sign. But yeah, this part of the set is a little bit flimsy because it's only on one layer or one row of studs. Hmm. But you know what? It's not that bad. Which, you know, now we come to the next one. So this is one gauge, the corridor of Hoi style architecture. Number 3312. 507 pieces. Here is the box. You know what, I think the boxes are actually the same size except for the last one. They just look bigger because the pictures are getting bigger on the boxes. It's an illusion, man. There you go. Again, same deal on the back. Crappy box, one game. crappy box, man. The design of the box itself is actually pretty nice. I like the box, so let's put that aside. The best part about this one is it has a little kitty cat on the rooftop. You want that cat. You know, you can face him the other way if you want to. Put them like this, you're just hanging out and chilling. This one is all about that tree. Holy smokes, did they put enough apples on there? And I don't know what those line things are. It, it looks very like anime. It looks like it should be in a cartoon, like streaks of light coming through the tree. Or is that a fruit? Or those branches? I'm not sure, but you know, like I said, you can always take those off. And it looks like some of the apples are pushing on the other branches, so I kind of have to like, readjust this thing later. But just so you guys know, that is entirely up to you. You don't have to put all that stuff on, but it is a nice tree. And this is the color I like. This is the tree color. Why couldn't they have used this in the other one? It's okay. You got that option here. And let's look at the front. It's not tiled. 
It's got less decoration on the front except for the giant tree. Again, I like the little stone pebble idea that goes up to the staircase. I like the railings. I think they're actually pretty cool. Uh, the ones on the end do kind of hit the lanterns there. So you have to kind of push it down a little bit more. You know, maybe you can take one piece of the lantern off and then you can make the railing a little bit more straight up if you wanted to. And look on the inside of this. It is fully tiled. Thank you for tiling it. But if I bring it to the back here, there's nothing there. It's just a plain wall. That's it. At least they have windows back here, but they're not closed off. Okay, the garden, man. Open garden. And then we come to the horrifying part of this set. Yes, you heard me right. You see the brown piece along there? I am not going to touch that because that one out of all four of these was the worst part of this build. It's the same thing like that other set I did. Remember that one? I already forgot the name of it. The China Ancient Hotel. That's right. It's built down up and you have to push it in. It's really, really weird. It's cumbersome on the manual. It might be a little bit tricky. If it falls apart on you, breathe, breathe, do it again, put it in there, never touch that piece again. Rooftop is fine. It's just like a giant piece there. You know, again, you can tilt it up and down. This part won't fall off, but that brown part will. So be careful for that. All right, last one. Here we go. So this is one case, the Garrett of Hoi style architecture. Number 4310, 1,039 pieces. The biggest box yet. This is a nice box. This is probably the best looking one here. And let me just say, yes, it was a sturdy build. I had no issues with it. Let's take a look at it right now. Look at that, probably my favorite. Of course, it's the biggest one, but this is the one major issue about this one. You ready for this? You can't open it at all. I thought you'd be able to kind of get in there and play around inside. You can't, it's just like the other ones. It's just a setting. Once you put it together, this is how it looks. I'll rotate it once for you guys. Here, yeah, does look really pretty. You know, actually, I can't even tell if this is supposed to be the front or if this is supposed to be the front. Oh, this looks like the back. So this is the front for sure. Down here, you got these two like decoration symbol looking things. They actually look really good. I like them there. And yeah, so there's no interior, but also this red flag thing, it just doesn't go with the set. You can just pull this out like that. It's too colorful and I don't know what this is. This is like a weird looking flag. We'll put that to the side first, just so you guys can see what it looks like without it. Yeah, it looks fine like this, really. All right, I'll put it back on just for the sake of this review, but I'll leave that up to you guys. If you do buy this, you can leave that off. So there are no doors on this one. Oh well, it's just windows, lots of windows. And it's, kind of, it's really hard to open the ones on the bottom because you can't get your fingers in there, but they're also blocked by red tiles on the inside. So you, you really have to just, just leave them closed, man. Don't need to open it. Maybe those red things are supposed to be curtains, but they're bricks in this case. You can't even get in there if you wanted to. And on the upper floor, they're blocked here by this little fence. So, you know, the windows are just there for decoration. This is just supposed to be a structure. That's really weird, this flat tile right here. There's no sign on it. I wonder if they forgot to print something on there. Oh, you can always pull it off. You can see the windows better. I like the height, the design, and the scale of it. It looks really nice. We'll come to this side, just plain wall, but you know, you can move the rooftop again. Delicate, I always say, these are kind of delicate. Point these how you like them to go. You can put it straight if you wanted to. This one too, yeah. And like I said, these ones are like on single studs, so you have to be careful with these. They can pop off. I guess you can tilt these depending on your mood. Are you sad? Oh, are you happy? Yay! And the rooftops here can also be adjusted like that. I'm not really gonna put it like that. It's supposed to be in a slant anyway. But yeah, you can't get in there, man. I kind of wish they would have made it a little bit modular so that this piece can come off, but oh well. I do like how they put a little bit of a garden here. The vines look cool on the wall. And they have one window up here that is open, fully open. Imagine seeing a face popping out of that window. Man, sometimes I want to scare myself. We can at least stick the camera there and you can kind of see that it's just nothing inside. And then same deal on the back, you got two windows. You can probably get, I can't get my fingers to open them, but you can probably get in there and just take a look on the inside. And again, the upper windows are blocked by the fence. Rooftop, I like the colors. You got a smaller window here. That's it. This is just a personal preference. Whether you like this or not, or you want to buy all four of them, combine them together and make this pretty good, yeah? Very cool indeed. Look, I'll slide, I'll do a little slide like that. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, comparison to Soju Garden. I'm just gonna move the camera. I can't really see it here clearly, but just so you guys know, 
This is Soju Garden from Zingbao. It's available also on Pick Me Up Scotty and watch the review up here. These are not to scale to minifigures, but you can just kind of see what they look like against this one, right? So here, I'm just gonna pan the camera there. So, Soju Garden, the ones in the front, the ones on the back, the one gay hoi architecture style. So you can clearly see they are not to scale. And I can even go like this for you guys here. Let's try this. You know, let's see if we can find similar ones that match each other, right? Like this one kind of looks like this one. Yeah, you can see that. There. That's the brother. The other one don't look nothing like the other one. Pull the bridge here. Maybe this one is kind of similar to that. So you can see that. Yeah, not really. And you get the idea. Man, I gotta clean up this table. There you guys go. Comparison. I know the branches and the trees might fall off on this thing, but here we go. You ready? Clutch power time. I'll just, I won't do it too high because I don't really want to destroy it and put it back together. Here we go. One, two, three. Oh, look at that. I love the sound of that. Perfectly fine. Next one. Same deal. One, two, three. Told you. Fragile rooftop. Because it's only being held by that. Dang it, you guys, not to rebuild this thing for you. Not that bad, actually. Even if I drop it from here, I don't think it's gonna really, like, fall. Kitty cat and she will probably fall off this one. You ready? Oh, and that bottom piece, please don't drop. Yeah, see? Oh, only one piece came off, that's not too bad. And I told you the kitty cat would fall down. Ha, <sighs> this is why I don't wanna drop this, man. It takes me time to put it back together, if it does fall off. So as you see, that piece there came down, part of the tree came down, tree either fixed and the cat will pop off. But you know, hey, I'm being rough on these things. There goes the tree again. I'm dreading this, man. It's taking me forever to fix this stuff up. Oh, thank you. That one's fine. I'm not doing that again. All right, you guys, dimension times. Let's blast through this. We'll do it all at once. Break out your 32 by 32 base plate. Now all the plates here are roughly the same size, but the height is slightly different. It's like a standard brick size here. I have a brick right here, right? It's, yeah, it's more or less that. That's the one gay style, man. The width, I'm just gonna pull one of these out just to show you guys. Put this here. So it's 12 studs by width, by length. You're looking at 24 studs in length, and it is the same for all of them. Now let's check the height. So for the height of this one, we're going in order as the video, by the way. Break out your one by four bricks. Check that out. That is 12 bricks in height. You know, it's roughly around there. There you go. The next one. Here we go. Count these yourself. I'll put it right here to the floor. It's right about there. You might want to add one more brick if you want to go exactly to the little things that stick out on the side. But just so you have an idea. 17 bricks in height. Next. And here we go. The tallest one fits almost right there. Look at that. That is 22 bricks in height. And there is your dimensions. So there you guys go. This is Wang Ye's Hoi Architecture Style, the mini ones. It's available on BrickingUpScotty.com. I'll put the link in the description. Go check them out, see if you like it. Maybe you don't. Buy the small one, buy the big one. It's up to you guys. All right, you guys. I'm running out of time. I gotta work on the other videos. Until next time, pick me up. Meow. You know it's all about the tree, about the tree. This tree, it's all about the tree, about the tree. This tree, higher. Oh, the whole thing came down now. But you know, I'm being very vigorous on this thing. Come on guys, you're not really gonna drop it like that, are you? I'm gonna start from this side, and we're gonna work our way to here. Save the best, save the last, Save the best for the last, save the last for the best. Save the best for last. All right. Ow, oh, oh, oh. what are you doing, big Scotty? You guys, we're running out of time. We gotta do this fast. I gotta go, just show them the set really fast. I got a plane to catch, man. Yeah, big Scotty. Ouch! Where's my sword? This would've been a perfect place to train. Fine, 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 here's your sword. Now go play. Yeah, it's okay. Got an archway. That's it, though. There's nothing else here. 
Maybe we should check out the back and see if there's anything. This big sky. Wow, this is really pretty. I like this one. Hey, hey. But it's good for us, man. You know, dear, this place is too yeah. small, man. Fresh I don't like it. Water. Let's go to this the next one. This is kind of me of that movie, The Ring. Um, now I'm getting scared. I don't want that girl to crawl out of here. Kind of random, man. There's nothing even here. I can't even swing my sword Scott. properly. Scott, do you want to crack it? What a joke that guy is. I kind of like the we front of this one. I like the little pond. It's do you see the water, dude? This place ain't bad either. I can get back here. You and your sword, really? Dear, Come here, little kitty. why are you chasing a cat? You're not a dog. Come here, little kitty cat. Why, why am I chasing Almost a cat too many anyway? Animals here. Anyway, I'm getting tired, dear. Let's go to that hotel over there. I don't know, Scotty. I'm an animal. It's instincts. Dirt. What the heck, man? What kind of a place mm. is this? Look at uh, the apples. Well, dear, I guess we're going to be camping out here tonight. Pick a garden. Pick any garden. Uh, Scotty, there's no doors to this place. I know what you're saying, dear. All right, you guys. All right, so you guys. Liking the channel. Catch you so later. Like, comment, subscribe. Big Scotty had to go again. Meow. We're here. I oh, I know. Where, Where is, is this? this? Man. I want a real hotel. Bye-bye now.